Stand by. Front. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we'll do an unboxing and initial review of my latest pickup from AIM Surplus. It's the Star Model B. Okay, it's a Spanish gun, chambered in 9x19 or 9mm. So let's look at the markings. Don't know if you can see it. it says Star Echeveria España. SA caliber 9 millimeter and then letter P 9 millimeter parabellum on the other side it says Modelo Super imported by PW Arms Redmond um, Virginia okay what comes inside the box the gun with two magazines, so one inside the gun and a spare. Okay. When my FFL contacted me that my superstar is here, I almost uh, corrected him, and I was uh, about to tell him that it's a star model B, not a superstar. But when I opened up booklet it says superstar yeah it's just funny how they name their guns in Spain and the booklet itself see it's very old but the illustrations are good and then I think with the quality of the paper they use I don't know um, with you guys but if you're interested in his history in the history of the gun it's kind of neat that they preserve the the manual for the gun and that's it oh and a multi-purpose cleaning rod okay. that's about it so why did I purchase this gun um, this has been selling for aim surplus for like 239 bucks plus shipping like 17 bucks shipping but this has been selling for gun bro uh, for around 300 or more than 300 bucks uh, on gun broker and the main reason is uh, before I, before this popped up on my deal alert I was looking for a 9, 1911 in 9 millimeter but they are usually priced at 400 and above I think 500 okay and when I saw this deal, 239, uh, although it looks like a 1911, I know this is not a 1911. Spain copied the design, the John Browning design of the 1911. And although they did not join the war, they supplied guns to the Axis power. Okay, so this has history and I don't know if this was used by the Germans because they said that the Germans didn't put any marks on their guns might be on the serial numbers I don't know but this is a good um, conversation piece knowing that this has seen action in, in World War 2 or in World War 1 I don't know, I have to do my research. Let's take a closer look at the gun. See, it looks like a 1911. I like the positive lockup on the magazine, but it does not pop out. Hold on. Empty. Let's try the other mag. Oh, uh, this pops out. Fine. Okay. Safety like a 1911. Slide stop like the 1911. Uh, mag release. But the trigger is not 
anywhere near a 1911. A 1911 goes back, this goes down. It's hinged. It's a hinge trigger on top. And I was surprised to, to find out that although this gun is old, it has a magazine uh, disconnect safety, so you cannot fire the gun. See? Okay. And then, as a barrel bushing like a 911. That's about it, but the mechanisms inside not the same as the 911. Okay, this is my Gearson 911, although it's heavily modified. See, plus it shares the weight. Yeah, similar weight of the 911. So, like I said, they copied the 911. Let's see the trigger pull so it is a single action only let's see the trigger pull trigger pull at less than 5 4.8 4.7 say it again I'm getting four and a half now okay so single action in <clears throat> in four and a half to less than five is good. Let's see the rifling on the barrel. Let's see, it's still deep and no pitting. It's a nice barrel for its age. For the disassembly of this um, star model B, oh, so that you will know it's a star model D, model model B. They put a stamp that says Super B. It's a Super B. Okay, no grip safety, by the way. Uh, to disassemble this. Um, Uh, they said that it's similar to a 1911, but the model I got has a built-in slide, slide slide stop. Okay, you don't have to pull it out. So you just swing this lever, and then remove the slide. That's it. So the frame. I said similar to an N11. Okay. Slide. It doesn't have a full size guide rod. Uh -huh. So this is how you disassemble it. Recoil spring. Then the barrel bushing. See the barrel. I like the quality of the barrel. Plus, has a <clears throat> locking mechanism for the barrel. After disassembling it for the first time, I saw these markings, and I'm gonna try to focus it there. It's a just somebody or person who used this made some markings so I don't know the what this means but first first thing came into my mind is he marked the, every time he used this gun or every person he shot with this gun that's what I'm thinking or he just got bored counting the days before he goes home I don't know See the markings. So let's put it back together. So, like I said, watching other videos on YouTube for other Star Model B, uh, they have a different breakdown or takedown of the gun. So,
because of the built-in um, slide stop put the bushing in and then your oh last time I, I did this I put the bushing in early put it in place and just push the recoil spring in that's it and then put, put it back put it up there you go so it's easier to take down and assemble than in 1911 And lastly, I saw one YouTube video saying that any 1911 grips will fit the Star Model B. So I tried one. This is my spare from my stock uh, Gearsan 1911. The holes on the Star Model B are farther away compared to the stock 1911. See? So I was able to put only one, but the next screw will be on this part okay so 911 grips won't work so I'm thinking of just refurbishing the stock grips for the Model B or finding a, a new I think Hogue makes uh, new rubber grips for the Star Model B I don't know if I'm right but I'm thinking of just refurbishing it or painting it and what else oh they said that the star model B has been used or has been showcased in a lot of movies because they are cheap and they shoot blanks well compared to um, other new polymer guns out there okay so this is a good 1911 trainer on a budget because you will be shooting cheap 9mm ammo compared to the big and expensive 45 ACP okay so there you go my unboxing and initial impression of the star model B thanks for watching